let us try to understand what are hermaphrodites and how they differ from sexually dimorphic animals organisms called hermaphrodites do perform sexual reproduction every individual hermaphrodite have both male and female sex organs in them you must have seen earthworms in your garden you never call an earthworm he or she you cannot differentiate earthworms as male and female as both sex organs that is testis and ovary and related structures of reproductive organs are present in the same organism but these reproductive organs mature at different time thus ensuring cross fertilization in hermaphrodites if each one is producing two egg ones at a time as all individuals can reproduce 100 egg ones will be produced for a group of 50 the reproduction rate here is like a sexual reproduction but these animals are reproducing sexually nature is so wonderful in hermaphrodites all individuals reproduce in sexually dimorphic animals both sexes take part but only females reproduce that is only 50% are producing though both sexes are taking part in reproduction we have a picture here on the reproductive organs of the earthworm you can see here the male and female reproductive organs and the mating of the earthworms the earthworms mate in the rainy season and they come together in the opposite direction thereby depositing the sperms in the other one that is both the earthworms taking part in reproduction will be receiving the sperms which are stored in this four pairs of spermatheca and you can see in the picture both the earthworms have produced cocoons whereas sexually dimorphic animals you will see that you can distinguish these animals by the characters which we call them as sexually dimorphic characters for example you can talk about man dog cat bird snake fish insect and nematodes where you can easily differentiate the sexes in human beings male can be identified by the presence of a penis and scrotal sacs having testis whereas in a female the external genitalia are absent so the moment a child is born we can differentiate whether it is a male or female but in certain animals the reproductive structures which assist in reproduction may grow at later part of their life